This video is brought to you by Artlist. Okay, so I've always been very skeptical when it comes to AI in the world of video editing. And I've also been the guy telling you that AI will never replace real storytelling and psychology within editing. But honestly, Artlist just kind of proved me wrong. Okay, I need to explain what changed my mind when it comes to AI and editing, because what I'm about to show you completely shifts how I think about our craft as editors. Look, if you've been watching my content for any amount of time, you know that I am absolutely obsessed with two things, storytelling and the psychology behind great video editing. You see, I, I built my entire approach to video editing around understanding human emotion, uh, attention, and how to craft experiences that viewers literally cannot look away from. And I've always been super, super skeptical of AI in editing because honestly most ai tools kind of just suck they spit out generic soulless content that has zero understanding of human psychology they can't craft emotion well they don't understand really what makes someone feel something more than just theory they're they're empty it's just contributing more noise to the social landscape that we live in today but something happened when i tested artless brand new ai features that's completely shifted my perspective and i need to break this down for you guys because it's not what you think it is before i show you what this is i, I want you to know i'm not saying the ai will ever replace our ability to tell stories or understanding of human psychology within content that's still 100 percent human and it always will be in my opinion. But what if AI could remove the biggest limitation that we as editors face? We as storytellers, better yet, story architects. Think about this for a second. I mean, how many times have you had the perfect story in your head? The exact route that you knew you wanted to take this edit. You understood exactly what emotion you wanted to create. You knew the psychological triggers that you wanted to hit on within the edit. And you, you had the entire emotional architecture of this video mapped out but you just didn't have the footage to execute. Maybe you needed, I don't know, a specific angle. Maybe the creator didn't film, or maybe you just needed B-roll that would just be impossible for the creator to shoot. Maybe you had this specific vision that was just overall impossible with the budget, the location, just, just the constraints. Now imagine that you could create any material from scratch at an incredibly high quality to serve your story. See, this is the exact thing that changed my mind on AI. It's not about AI replacing storytelling, it's about AI removing the barriers that prevent us from being the storytellers we want or can be. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Imagine I want to tell a story about a creative breakthrough. You guys know that moment when an idea finally clicks in your head? In my own mind, I can see exactly how this, this should look or this should play out if it was a scene. I know that I would probably, if I were to film this, want someone in a dark room, maybe struggling, frustrated, and then this moment of almost like a light or illumination where everything becomes clear as the light shines down on them or something along those lines. But here's the problem. This would be a hard shoot to do and it would require multiple people probably. Normally, this is where the story dies. Normally, this is where editors don't think outside the box and just give up or the whole project just gets compromised. As much as I don't like to do it, I know in the past I've had to settle for generic stock footage that really doesn't match my vision or I'd have to completely change the story to fit what I have available to me. But watch what happens when I can create exactly what my story needs using Artless brand new Sora 2. Okay, I just wanted to really quickly show you guys what it looks like when you go into Artlist and actually play around with this. You'll be greeted at the homepage, but if you wanna to go to the AI, just go to the sidebar and click on AI image and video. By the way, guys, they have AI voiceovers, which are actually super good. I was playing around with these the other day. These voiceovers, they don't sound like AI at all. These are like genuinely good. In fact, this, where is it? It is this one right here, Essence. I saw this the other day and this inspired a video idea for me to do simply because I could think of an awesome voiceover for it. So now I'm going to work on that, which is really cool. Now, if we go over to AI image and video, this is where all the magic could happen. So we have text to image, which is basically where you could just describe an image you wanna create. And also it can read multiple languages. And these are some inspiration that you could see from other people of, of images that they've done from text, right? Which is really crazy. I mean, AI has gotten so good. You can create genuinely quality things. I, I remember when text to video or text to image first came out not that long ago, it was so bad. It has improved so fast. But here's where the magic happens, guys. Go over to this little toggle here where you could switch from image to video. This is where it gets really, really cool. Basically, the way this works is you can describe the scene you want to create. It's crazy. And the Sora 2 model, which is inside of Artlist, it will literally do it for you. It's mental. 
All you need to do is come down to this drop down. Now you might have VO3, which is also a really, really good video generation tool that also syncs with audio. But for this case, I really have been enjoying Sora too. And then I go over to 16 by nine since it's for YouTube. And I like to choose a 12 second option because it's the longest. And then what I like to do is I like to optimize my prompts. Now, really quick guys, if you want a completely free like document or a guide on the best prompting practices to follow for Artless AI, you can have it completely for free. I'll put it in the description below this video. But for now, what I like to do, if you don't want to go download that, I'll go to ChatGPT and I'll basically just paste in what I want. So I already pre-wrote this just to save time. And then I enter it and then it's going to write me an optimized prompt so I can get the best results possible. Cool. So this is what ChatGPT gave me. So I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to paste it into here. And I'm just going to read through it as well and just make sure that everything's good here. Awesome. And then as soon as everything is good and, and it feels the way you want it to feel and it, and it seems like the direction you want to go, I'm going to click generate and then you'll see under my creations tab, it's going to start to generate the video while this video is loading. I just wanted to share something pretty funny. The other day I was playing around with the image to video It's where you can upload an image of yourself and then give it a prompt like show me riding a horse into battle or show me flying away or whatever you want to put. And I was playing around with this and I wanted to see what it would look like if I just like was sitting in my office from a photo. This was a photo I gave it. What you're seeing right now on screen was a photo and then it turned it into this, which is pretty funny. so hilarious i was dying laughing i did so many different versions or playing with different scenarios it was so much fun i was cracking up i was having such a blast like you saw how good that was that was really really good that was from a photo that was from an image that's mental how creative you can get with this it's i mean it, the, the sky is literally the limit like this is insane pun intended actually well pun not intended but pun because i was this ended with me being in the sky just to continue this while we're waiting for this to load this was one that i created from an image to video it was just i was like put me riding into an old battle and like the i don't remember what year i put but i put a a, a year like 100 years ago or something like that with and um starting from this image right and then it creates this, which by the way, it's crazy that all of this comes with like really good sound as well. Like, this is crazy. That's like my mind's blown. This is crazy. I'm just going to play that one more time so you could really see like, this is mental. Look how good this is. The explosions in the background, the depth of field, like the shadows. All right, guys, check this out. So this is what it generated. If I click on this, it's going to open up. Not only is it going to play sound effects and music, but look how good this is. I don't think you guys understand. This is AI. This is crazy. This opens a floodgate of new opportunity. This is crazy. By the way, guys, just a couple settings here. You can see what model you use. You can see the aspect ratio, all this. If you guys want to upscale it because it's in 720, all you need to do is click upscale and it will upscale it right to 4K. And then you can go ahead and you can download it straight to your computer. Now, what I want to do really quickly is I want to test the VO3 model, which is another really popular cinematic video model within the AI space. I'm going to choose 16 by 9. I'm going to choose a six second clip. And one of my favorite YouTubers, Cleo Abram, just came out with a brand new video about bringing extinct animals back to life. Now there's no way that you can visually show that with actual shot and camera footage because the dinosaurs and the wool mammoth and things that she speaks of in that video just simply does not exist. This is where tools like this, again, can come in handy. If I was her editor and I wanted to show not tell as she's speaking about the wool mammoth with people, maybe I would just do a super simple prompt. And let's not use ChatGPT or let's not optimize it. Let's do the minimum viable prompt that we can do in order to get a response and see what comes out. So let's just say, show a woolly mammoth with a crowd of walking through New York City while people stop and stare. All right, our VO3 just finished. Let's check this out. Let's click on this. This is pretty cool, guys. You can also just do certain things to make this look more real as well. Like if, like maybe your argument is, oh, this looks still like AI, which by the way, in my opinion, and just testing these models out, Sora 2 always has a way more realistic 
uh, output. So if you guys wanted to do the same prompt with Sora too, it would be way more realistic. I just wanted to test their VO3 model here with you guys as well. You can actually do something I like to call texture treatment, and you could basically put certain overlays or grains or effects over the, the video to make it feel more shot in camera. For example, I could go over to templates. I would just type in film. And then when I type that in, you can get a lot of cool film looks to make it look like it's more out of camera that you could literally just drag and drop over your footage so that when you use a, an AI video like this, it allows it to look a little bit more realistic. But honestly, guys, if it was me, I would probably be creating a video like this in Sora too. And here's the key thing to understand here. The AI didn't tell this story. I did. The AI didn't understand what emotion to create. I did. The AI just gave me the tools to execute my vision without limitations. Guys, AI won't take editors out of a job. It will just give you the tools to help you more easily become great ones. And honestly, since I already used Artlist for my music, my sound effects, and my templates, I, as of lately, have been using it for nearly all my AI needs too. It's quite literally the one-stop shop for video creators. And if you guys wanna get started and check it out yourselves, and you can click the link right below this video. And when you use that link, you'll get two extra months completely for free. I mean, think about Christopher Nolan. His genius isn't in the special effects of his movies. It's in understanding how to manipulate time and emotion to create specific psychological experiences. The technology just serves his vision. That's what this is. The storytelling brain, the understanding of human psychology, that the creativity, that's still completely us, that's you, that's me. But now we have tools that can match our creative vision without compromise. And that is cool, that's exciting. And this, Artlist, they're trailblazers. They've completely reframed how I think about AI in the role of editing. It's not about AI replacing editors anymore in my mind, it's about removing the barriers that prevent us from being the storytellers we want to be. And honestly, as I said, this just makes me so much more excited about editing, about being a content creator. I'm filled with more ideas than I've ever been filled with before, and I don't feel any restraints. Now, I'm super excited to say that Artlist is sponsoring this video, but honestly, guys, they didn't need to convince me. I've been using Artlist for years. When I originally started with Artlist, it was just for their music library and their sound effects because their tracks, in my opinion, have the most cinematic quality that works for like every single story I've ever needed to do. In fact, if you guys have seen any of my content before or any of my client work, I've used Artlist for nearly every single one of those videos. And then when they reached out to me about their new Sora 2 and their new VO3 model, I'm not gonna lie, I was skeptical at first. I was like, come on guys, you guys are really putting AI in here. Another AI tool promising to revolutionize editing. Sure. Guys, I actually tried it. You just saw what they've created is in just another toy within AI. It is a tool that actually enhances our final product. You get incredible realism with fully integrated sound and music. Like, you can build stories with character consistency as well. On top of all this, you can literally create any material that your story needs, anything that your brain can think and write into words. By the way, guys, I have seen comments in other people's videos about how, oh, you're making this seem like it's better than it actually is. It's not all that great. I have something to say to all of you who feel that way. That's not the case. If you guys don't feel like this is living up to your expectations or like me or other creators lead it on to, to feel, it's probably a prompting issue. I got to say when I first started using this, I was just like basic prompts and I was getting basic outputs. The way AI fundamentally works, any LLM large language model or any integration of AI in tools like Artlist, the quality of your output a lot of times has a strong correlation with the quality of your input. Imagine a client came to you and told you they wanted an edit and gave you a super basic and vague direction for it on that project. Your output would probably not meet their expectations. Why? Because their input, their prompt to you, their instructions to you were not clear. It's the same thing with AI. If you give it clear, in-depth direction or prompts, your output will be very, very high quality. Now, if you guys want my final thoughts on the AI and editing landscape, and basically just the synergy between the two, here's my takeaway from all of this. AI won't make you a better storyteller. It won't 
teach you how to implement human psychological principles into your content. It won't give you an understanding of emotional architecture or retention or any of the principles that actually matter, but it can remove the barriers that prevent you from telling some of those stories that you want to tell. Listen, I'm still going to keep teaching storytelling and psychology on this channel when it comes to the correlation of content and video editing, because that's what separates great editors from average ones. That's the foundation that everything else is built on. But now we have tools that can actually match our creative vision without any compromise. And honestly, guys, that's incredible. By the way, guys, if you wanna learn more about the psychology and storytelling principles that I've mentioned in this video that actually make content compelling, then you can click on this video next and watch that. And before you do, make sure you click on the link below and get started with Artlist today and start elevating your edits instantly. Remember guys, I'm rooting for you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.